Hey everybody, welcome back to Layers of Fear. Uh, yeah, this is the full version. It's finally ready. It is finally out. This is the full game. I am extremely excited. Uh, last year I played the Early Access version uh, and actually became one of my most viewed videos ever. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, also, I got a custom thumbnail made for this. So uh, Mike, throw that up again. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the artist page, then uh, links in the description. Thank you so much for making it for me. Um, yeah, so let's just jump right in. Let's do it. I'm extraordinarily excited for this. Uh, the original Layers of Fear, or the early access version, is one of my favorite horror games of all time, I would say. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. Picture of Dorian Gray. Ah, uh, yes. Let me turn the sensitivity down. There we go. Uh, so I don't know what has changed from the early access version to the new version. So I'm going to be exploring uh, as if it was a brand new game. Was this here? Uh... An artist triumph, gallery opening, wows critics. Some call him the new Caraviago? Caravigio. <laughs> Others compare him to Van Eck. And one Austra critic, who wished to remain unnamed, went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Uh, Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Dot dot dots. Uh, distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences uh, and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. Huh. So I already think the layout is completely different. Like, I don't remember this being here. Uh, dear sir, uh, would you like to ask... We would like to ask... Uh, you to cease bothering our pest control specialist as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. Uh, all of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no sign of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such uh, decided not to act further than a uh, prophylactic spring. Uh, please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pets Pacification Co. Okay, got some whiskey going on. Delicious. Okay, a picture of a dude shaking a hand. Nothing else? Uh, sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them uh, back to your office. Have a nice day. Well. Hello? Hey, there I am. Wow, look at my dapper vest. Uh, Achilles prosthetics, blow, one below the knee prosthetic. How the hell did you fuck up the length? Well, that's rude. That's a filthy ass tub. Okay, some towels. Wonderful. Um, anything of note over here?
Popkel? Pop? Is that a K or? Yeah. P O P K E L? Huh. Oh no, someone's getting in the wine again. Uh, figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, uh, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. <laughs> I know, gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Aww. Awesome. Okay. Just some, uh... Got some corn, garlic, peppers, that sort of thing. Wonderful. Uh, paint. Rose door, burnt umber, sienna. Brushes times 25. Air fresheners. Why do you need so many air fresheners? Apples and booze. Lots and lots of booze. Okay. Awesome. This is a really nice house. I want this house. Minus all the spooky shit that's about to happen. Anything in there? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interests in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I'll work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. Aw. Whoa! <laughs> uh, amazing. Ah, the, uh, pest control guys. Got a rat problem? Call us now and forget about it. Okay, let's uh, head upstairs. Look at this handsome gentleman. Nice teeth. God, this game looks so good. I still can't believe that. The oh, I'm like hobbled. Uh, I'll go investigate that in a second. Okay, some burnt sheet music. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. Wake up. Tumbling all around. Tumbling all around. Can I can turn that off? Uh, the new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. I might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist... Instrumentalist? <laughs> Instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply outstanding. Or astonishing. God, I need to read it, read and not put my own thoughts into it. Uh, I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist, or pianist, uh, Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, uh, one of uh, harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and, enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets those words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught, uh, we caught up with the star, dot 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 dot. Um, let's go for that one. Okay, it's got some shirts. More shirts. Ah, uh, Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to uh, reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. 
Uh, the exact number of casualty has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic Ronald uh, Schreifeld, 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 uh has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Give me that. Aw. Little mirror. And then that one's been busted. Nice ring. My dog just w uh, walked in and looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. So the painter... That's why I walk funny. Alright. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Mm -mm. None of that. What is that? You're locked. Yeah, so like that's why he kind of walks like a... a little like pimp walk. God damn it. Alright, let's go check the kids room. Creepy ass dolls. I love it. Aw, it's uh, the dad, the kid, and the mom. So, I believe the mom got burned in the fire. Like, was horribly disfigured. Hey, buddy. Oh, I can't shake him? Okay. A uh, little mirror. But yeah, I think that's the story, is the mom got really, really burned, and that, like, drove the dad crazy. Since he like strives for, for for perfection and now she's like ruined. I think that's the story. I keep looking at the capture to make sure it's not too dark. I think it's I think it's fine. That fucking baby face always creeps me out. There we go. Let's turn that on. I can turn these on too. It's really dark in here. There we go. Uh, true story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Nothing in there. Nope. Nothing in there. Okay. I'm taking my sweet ass time. Because, like, I really like this game and I want to explore. Nice. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm sorry, I make it up to you tonight. It's about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I knew you were going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old times' sake. I even deliberately gave you a trial task, or trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. I, what I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please, get your shit together. Roll pal, Liam Brickstone. Whispered Tale Publishing House. So, like, the artist... Thought it'd be hilarious if he, like, sent in, some, like, some super fucked up drawings for Little Red Riding Hood. No. <laughs> no. Okay, let's, uh... I like how he walks. It's, like, it's actually pretty immersive. Oof. Is there anything else I need to go look at? I think that might be it. I don't... Oh, there's one more door.
Oh, no. There's a bulb right there, but I can't grab it. Is there a light switch up here? There it is. Right, let's go check out the basement really quick, and then I'll... Oh, fuck this. Just a rat. No big deal. I never came down here in the, uh... Uh, the other version. Stop. Ah, all the babies. Loads and loads of babies. Okay, I don't know if there's anything I can actually read or investigate down here. Dun 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 dun. There's a door, though. Okay. Nothing down here. Alright, thought I'd check it out. Again, trying to be thorough. Alright, let's, uh, let's go open up that office door. I think this is whenever the, uh, the, the creeps start. I'm really curious to see, like, if they change some stuff. There we go. Okay, got my brush and stuff. There I am, looking dapper. Oop. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through through notes, or through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. That'd be quite the way to, uh, talk to your spouse. Just through a series of notes and whatever. Uh, okay, I think that's it for there. Are these all different paints? I assume? Okay. I'll look at that in a second. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. All his used brushes. This looks awesome. Like, this game's used to color later on. It's simply outstanding. Oh yeah, these are all locked. Okay. I think it's time for the big reveal. I got an achievement. Uh, it's covered up for a reason. Now I think if I leave... Yup, here it goes. Uh, before we go, I'm gonna turn up the gamma a little bit on the recording. Um... Fuck it, I'll do it live. Okay, that's better. Also, I'm gonna refresh the capture. Okay, we're back. I'm, uh, I'll need to refresh the capture every now and then. Just to make sure I don't lose too much, like, in case something happens so I don't lose footage. Just out of... <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Doing good? I'm doing good. Pretty excited to play this. I'm actually playing it uh, on Friday. The full version gets released on a Sunday. I got a advanced uh, press code. So I'm going to play a little bit early so I can have my videos ready for its actual release. Going in circles. That's an awesome painting. Like a lot of these, like a lot of these paintings, I like want in real life. Uh, dear sir and madam, 
We currently, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. <laughs> uh, they are certainly no concern of, to us and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we'll be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbors. That's a very proper way of saying shut the fuck up. Let's see. I always need to find... Oh, I guess it's on anyways. Okay. Save the date. Request uh, the pleasure of your company to celebrate the wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at Luke's blah 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 at 2 o'clock in the... Okay. Mowage is... <laughs> Excuse you? God. And some of these paintings are just brutal. Is that the code? <laughs> Did I find it? Okay. Uh, so let's pop in 4A5. What's this? Okay. Four, eight, five. Uh, the pass holds. Pass holds back, look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of oh, art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Oh. Never forget. So here we go. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, you've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time. You were not allowed in that room, even if the door happens to be open. I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. This and that's to the, the maid or the butler or whatever. You stop. Thanks. I'm glad you listened to me. Chair. Yay, we something that's not scary for once. <laughs> uh Okay, playing dominoes by the fire. Cute. Anything I need to read in here? Are we good? What's the deal with the baby? Uh, I actually need to turn the game up myself. Like, I can't really see that well. And now the, that just looks like shit now. This game is super dark. Turn that back down. Like right about there. Yeah. I'm playing on uh, the max settings, by the way. This game looks way better than a Unity game should. <laughs> My love, even though you have not been born yet. Oh, it's to the kid. I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was... Talent and, and and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person. I guess what other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally... A doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet, here you are, within me. I'm quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. 
I love you so much. Oh. It sucks that your husband's crazy. Uh, dust, dust mice. Even in my lungs. Grotesque vermin. Dirt. There's always more. Alright. Literally... <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> and I've played this before! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me! God damn it. Where'd that baby go? Hey, baby. What's up? That looks like the guy from, uh, the Harry Potter movie with, with Voldemort in the back of his head. Oh, there's the baby. Good. Hope that hurts. Baby. Alright, does the globe change? Nope. Okay. Ho 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 ho! These are awesome. Like... Fucking rude. Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Rude. Okay, I think I remember this scare coming up. I mean, not that there's a scare coming up. Oh yeah, the mice run into the fireplace. Teddy bear, alright. Is there anything I can read in here before... I don't... I think so. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and do it. I like that picture too. Alright, get ready. I got your back. I know what's up. I really want some of these paintings. Like, I want this to be real. I, I, I think I just talked about this in my original playthrough of the Early Access version, but like... I really love, like, macabre art. Like, give me something, like, super depressing and fucked up, and I'm all about it. Like... I don't know, maybe I'll... If I remember, and if I feel like it... I'll show you guys some of my paintings that I have. I actually have a few... paintings. Nothing as awesome as the works in this game. But... Still stuff that I like. That is dangerous. Putting candle behind curtains like that. Or sheer drapes or whatever those are called. That is dangerous. Fuck. I keep right clicking first. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and all and the like. Uh, when we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Now, I know I promised not to rush you, and by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin-yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the strike while the iron's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Cadwell. Family comes first, but make me some money. Okay. Is this the postpartum depression part of the game? Hello. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? 
I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. What does that mean? Looks like there's something out there. Is it just like trees blowing in the wind? That's a really cool effect. What was that picked up on the capture? Okay, that's not a light switch. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry you're sad. So you got the baby blues. Look at this drunk bitch. It's actually like... It's actually like a really fucked up painting about... Like, domestic abuse. I like to think she's just drunk. And the kids are like, God damn it, mom. And he's like... You're getting sloppy. You're getting sloppy, Helen. <laughs> well, that was abrupt. Hello? Oh, fuck this. It really looks like there's something back there. Oh my god. Can I have a light or something? Like, I've been playing so many, like, Unity horror games, now, like, I just need a flashlight. Like... I'm trying to be as thorough as I can. Sorry, guys. I know I've said that a million times, but... It's true. Okay, so nothing's back here. That's good. Oh, it's just some garlic and stuff. But, uh, to this day, I still get comments being like, You rush too much. On my Layers of Fear video. First step is the hardest. Baby, I know. Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Hey, it's all nice and bright in here. This is nice. The music's telling me otherwise. Am I looking for something? Is there a... Is there a note? Okay, got some stuff. Empty ovens. Yeah, the way the music's building up is letting me know that like... What? Do it again. Hello? Your garlic fell down. Fuck! Okay. That is awesome. That is a great effect. Alright, I'm leaving. It's fate of saying assholes. Oh, come on! First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hands steady. Great. Awesome. Oh, see, so these are all the pictures I found. So I've only found one. Damn. Either there's a lot that to come, or I've missed a shit ton. How, though? I've been so thorough. 
Ah, here's all the, uh, his obsession with rats. Shapeless dreams. Uh, hate, even now. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Deep breaths. Remember, you're professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Awesome. 